What's going on, YouTube? Mike O back with another mail day recap. I have a few items that showed up in the mail today. Wanted to show them off. First up is an eBay purchase. We have a Johnny Damon autograph from 2016 Topps Archive Signature Series. Yep, you guys know I've been picking them up, and I've been specifically looking for the Allen and Ginters. So this is from an Allen and Ginter 2012, numbered 5 of 25. Johnny Damon signed in blue. Beautiful card for the collection. Did not have Johnny Damon. Uh, he's here in his Cleveland Indians uniform. Uh, I definitely think of him more as a Red Sox and Yankee. And, of course, uh, coming up with Kansas City. But uh, nice card nonetheless. Definitely happy to add it to the collection. Uh, I should have some more Allen and Ginters coming in uh, pretty soon. So stay tuned for those. And then next up today, the final... Thing is a purchase from Card Cutter 23. Garrett uh, was listing some stuff on uh, one of the Facebook groups, and uh, I reached out to him, told him I was interested in a few, and uh, wound up picking up some other stuff from him. So first was a little Phillies lot I'll show off. This is an Eric Valent. I've gotten him a few times. TTM. Uh, he's really quick, really good. Uh, this one, obviously, you know, the marker is the marker, but uh, it's not a big deal. It's part of the lot. Um, I got a bunch of his stuff certified things too for like, they're cheap. Uh, he had a short career with the Phillies and Mets. Next up, Reggie Taylor. I don't know that he ever actually made the major leagues with anyone. Uh, I know he was kind of a big Phillies prospect for a while. Uh, definitely cool to add to the collection. Did not have an autograph of him. We got a Rico Bronia here. Rico Bronia. Uh, really liked him, uh, back in the day. Played with the Mets and Phils. Uh, played for some other teams as well, but. Nice Rico Bronya. Got a Randy Wolf. Have a number of Randy Wolfs. Got him back in the day uh, at the Phillies festivals and stuff like that. Always really liked watching Randy Wolf. He, he had a nice, uh, pretty long career. I think he ended up pitching for like 15 seasons. So this is really cool on the Bowman rookie card. And Jim Fergosi. Definitely an uh, awesome pickup here. It's signed in red. Definitely looks better in person than it does on camera. Um, obviously the red over the maroon can be kind of tough, um, but definitely a cool, uh, cool card to have. Jim Ferguson passed away a few years ago. He was the manager of the 1993 Phillies, um, which I specifically collect, so definitely needed this for the collection. We got a Ryan Sandberg on an Iron Pigs card. I've gotten a few Ryan Sandbergs TTM. We got a Mickey Morandini here on this Studio Collection card. Definitely a nice card. Morandini will be back with the coaching staff, and he does sign in season TTM. And then we have uh, two Doug Glanvilles. Doug Glanville had some really good seasons for the Phils back in the late 90s. Um, came up with the Cubs, had some decent years there. Uh, he left the Phillies for a short while and then came back. Um, definitely, he had a nice career, and he's done a lot of work with ESPN as well over the years. So definitely two really cool cards. Happy to add some Doug Glanvilles to the collection. Uh, Garrett also threw in a few cards here. Threw in uh, number to 199, Julio Rodriguez. He was a uh, former Phillies prospect. Um, I don't I, I don't know if he's still in the system or not offhand, but it's a cool card. And then a really nice Chase Utley uh, jersey card. I'm definitely more into the autos than the uh, relic cards, but I do pick up some um, like Phillies and Patriots ones from time to time. Um, so happy to add this one uh, to the collection. Thank you very much. Guys, make sure you subscribe to Card Cutter 23 He is the man. He gets in a ton of awesome TTMs. I was lucky enough to have the opportunity to purchase a couple from him, and I will show them off. And I appreciate the fact that you have these in Ultra Pros. Uh, they're pretty much ready to go right out to uh, PSA Dine. One of his Rob Gronkowski's he got back. He got back a few from Rob Gronkowski, and I uh, look forward to uh, sending this out. Obviously, Rob Gronkowski has been uh, unbelievable through his career, and I do not have uh, any Gronkowski stuff in the collection. So, absolutely, this was a must-grab when you put this up. Caught my eye immediately, and you had a tremendous number of cards that were just awesome looking and I wanted all of them but uh, I've been spending a little too much lately so I've got to be careful also picked up this Brian Erlacher love this Topps Heritage card uh, really happy to add this and this will be going out to PSA DNA as well to get slabbed 
really cool card. I've seen a bunch of, not a bunch, but a good number of people who were getting him back, and I just, I never sent anything his way, so uh, definitely happy to add this to the collection. Awesome card. And uh, since he is such a great guy, he uh, threw in an extra, and I am a big fan of 1989 Tops, and this is a pretty damn sweet one. It is Tom Glavin, signed in blue. Absolutely beautiful card. Uh, looks awesome, and it was definitely one that I was looking at as well and thinking about. I actually got Tom Glavin a few times as a kid. He was a good signer back in the day with the Braves, um, in the early years at least. And uh, I actually got a few cards and balls and stuff uh, with my brother back uh Back in, you know, 89 and 90, stuff like that. So this is awesome, and this is another one uh, that will be going out to PSA DNA. So, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think of these pickups. Go sub card corn. Sorry. Go sub card cutter 23. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.